the American people rejected, soundly rejected, the anti-democratic, authoritarian, nasty, and divisive direction the MAGA Republicans wanted to take our country in. Okay. Well, that's one theory. Let's find out what Kurt and Chair and Terry want to say about that. Kurt Schlichter, senior columnist, townhall.com, also author of the new book, Inferno, and my buddy Terry Schilling, president of the American Principles Project. All right, Kurt, everyone has a theory. Whenever you lose, everyone has theories as to why you lost. It's this guy's fault, it's Trump, it's McConnell, it's McCarthy, it's the sky, it's the abortion, it's whatever. Kurt Schlichter, we're all a little bit sore. Why'd we lose? <coughs> Look, we lawyers have a word for this, or a phrase. It's called joint several liability. It means a bunch of people can be equally responsible for the same problem. Uh, there are a lot of things that went wrong, and uh, we have to have the courage to face them. Uh, that includes people who like Donald Trump need to face uh, the Donald Trump problems. Uh, people who uh, uh, don't like Donald Trump need to face their own problems. We need to look at the Republican leadership. Uh, we need to look at the tactics, techniques, and procedures we were using. We need to use the issue sets we were putting out there. The fact is, it did not get beyond the margin of fraud. Uh, it did not get between the margin of uh, uh, the, 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 the relatively small amount that uh, some of the new voting rules allow uh, uh, the other side to get, uh, and that maybe we should be exploiting ourselves. Um, I don't like the blame thrower act. I want to find out what the problem is. I want to get it done, but that means some people need to go away. That's fine. We got to win this in 2024. Okay. Terry, who's who's to blame? I think two people are are two, you know, groups are to blame. It's those establishment conventional wisdom GOPers who told us that we just need to make this uh, election about the economy and about jobs and about 10% inflation. We won those groups of people, but where we got killed was abortion. And that was because Democrats campaigned like crazy on abortion and how radical Republicans were. And Republicans didn't mention the A word. If you really wanted to win this cycle, you had to show how extreme Democrats were, which, by the way, I still think that aborting a baby in the ninth month that's eight pounds uh, is pretty extreme. And I think the vast majority of Americans are against that. But how many Republicans actually went on offense there? The other thing that I think we have to blame is this current election system where the Democrats are focused on collecting ballots of their party and Republicans are focused on trying to win over voters. One is industrialized, it's mechanical, and the other is romantic and it's it's systemic. And we need to, if the Republican party is going to win elections in the future, we need to be just as mechanical and just as methodical as the Democrats are in harvesting their ballots. Kurt, you referenced the Trump problem. What are you talking about? Well, look, I, I, you know, Trump was partly to blame for this. Uh, he's the head guy. The commander's responsible for everything the unit does or doesn't do. Uh, he helped pick some guys who didn't make, get it done. Uh, he didn't spend the money he could have. But, you know, while, while I've got criticisms of Trump, and I write about him in town hall today at length, um, I think it is very simplistic for people to say, well, if we just dump Trump, we'll be fine. Look, Trump came along for a reason, and the problems that got us Trump have not gone away. We need to do a deep dive to get to the point where a significant major, uh, majority of the American people will vote for us. The simple fact is a lot of people will not vote for us, more than the number should be. There's always going to be some hardcores who are unswaverable. Uh, but the fact is, we just didn't get the numbers. And that goes whether you have the quote unquote bad candidates like uh, uh, Dr. Oz uh, or the good candidates like Adam Laxalt, who on paper is perfect and he's a great guy. But they didn't get it done. It didn't happen. So we've got to figure out why and we've got to look deep into ourselves. I, you know, I, I, I agree on. Uh, uh, the mechanics of voting. I think that we have a different voting system and we need to approach that. That's the battlefield, whether we like it or not. Uh, I think we need to talk and debate about how we handled abortion and uh, uh, maybe we handled it too well. Maybe we uh, were too aggressive on it. Maybe we weren't aggressive enough. 
maybe it's a different issue that's important but we need to talk about it and we need to develop thick skin so when we do the after action review of this um, you know cluster uh, we don't make the same mistakes again Terry Republicans they tend to avoid, especially the ones running in Senate races, most, most definitely, they tend to avoid not just abortion, they tend to avoid all kinds of cultural issues. But did we simply lose the culture and that's why they do it? Now, I call them weenies and I want them to campaign on those things. But some mornings I wake up, Terry, after an election like that or the Biden election and I say to myself, the country's simply further left than I want to admit it is. No, Jesse, listen, I, I want to assure you the, that Americans do not yet support sex changes for minors, right? And that is the, the bar for the, for the Democratic Party. That's what they support. Americans reject the, the radical cultural agenda that the left has for this country in a huge fashion. The only problem is, is that no one believes that Republicans will actually do anything to stop it. Right. The reason we have Trump, the reason we have such a pugnacious and, and, and extravagant and just willing to burn everything down type Republican as head of the party right now is because the only people that hate Republicans more than Democrats are Republican voters. We are so sick and tired of our party leaders never delivering on our promises. Jesse, the last month and a half of the campaign, what were Republican and leadership? Uh, what were they talking about? Entitlement reform what the hell are you talking about? No one was calling for entitlement reform, but that was the best Republicans could come up with for addressing inflation. These guys are out of control and they need to be checked. And if the midterm elections don't serve as a check on their leadership, I don't know what will. Kurt, give me something no, positive I, from the look, midterms. I, I, there was something positive. Give me something positive. We got another shot in two years. Stuff can turn around 180 degrees in a month. OK, the, the idea that we are somehow doomed is crazy. On the other hand, we saw what happens when you uh, get over optimistic, which we did in this election. And I was, too. I looked at the fundamentals. I looked at the issue set. I looked at that doddering old pervert in the White House. I said, we can't miss. Well, we didn't get what we needed to get. So the, the optimism, we're not dead yet. We're not enslaved yet. We've got another election in two years. It's a good map. Let's go see what we can do. But the, the most important thing is to ruthlessly and rigorously examine what went wrong. And that includes checking our most, uh, uh, you know, our, our most closely held beliefs. We've got to challenge ourselves. I know what I believe. I believe, probably believe a lot of what Terry believes. Um, but maybe that stuff doesn't get it done. I want to get it done. And I don't care what we have to do to make it happen. Terry, tell me something positive. I'll give you everything. Listen, Jesse, these abortion amendments, abortion as an issue, they're going to be everywhere in 2024. And the only way out is through. And if Republicans can figure out a, a reasonable compromise on abortion, by the way, it's a 15-week bill. Uh, if they can figure that out and have that as an alternative and a counterpunch to Democrats and learn how to go on offense, we can win here every election from Peter Kingdom come. The only other thing that we have to do is to start utilizing the early vote system and maximizing our turnout. If Democrats are harvesting ballots, by golly, we have to start harvesting ballots. We have to play hardball just like they do because if it's if it's them harvesting ballots and us winning over voters, they're going to it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. They're going to win every election from here to kingdom come, and we'll never have a shot to fight back. Kurt, Terry, thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you.